Good afternoon. I'm Brad Spearson, publisher of Grown In, the newsletter and information channel for the legal cannabis industry. Due to the nature of cannabis law in the U.S., each state serves as a unique laboratory for cannabis legalization, normalization, and commercial regulation. This is going to be a fast 45 minutes, and I will introduce our panelists in a few moments. But first, some background information about each state. Participating in today's conversation are one pot pioneer and three relative newbies. What lessons can cannabis professionals and investors from Illinois, Michigan, and Massachusetts learn from their counterparts in Washington? We'll answer that in a moment. It's no surprise that recent monthly cannabis sales in Washington dwarfs the other states represented here today. The question is how the trajectories of the newer states will compare and which state will be the next to exceed $1 billion in annual sales. Even with 75 upcoming dispensary licenses expected to be awarded in the coming months, Illinois, with the largest population, will still significantly trail other states as far as overall number of cannabis retail outlets. Michigan's quarter of a million medical card holders purchase as much weed as recreational consumers in that state, who were first welcomed into dispensaries in December. Today, we'll take a closer look at how a state's existing medical program factors into recreational sales. And now for a deeper dive into each state. The bar is low to grow marijuana in Washington as the state currently has nearly 800 growers. Those of us in Illinois will be interested to learn more about the state's relatively low application fees and lack of scoring requirements for applicants. Growers and processors also cannot own dispensaries in Washington. In Massachusetts, the medical cannabis industry in the state actually started as a nonprofit leading to some initial challenges. While recreational sales was voted into law in 2016, the first dispensaries didn't open for another two years. Also, today there is only one dispensary in Boston, which, incidentally, is African-American owned. Like Massachusetts, municipalities in Michigan have to approve a location before a state license is granted. Accordingly, you can't shop around a license. Currently, there are no dispensaries in Detroit and at least compared to Illinois, few multi-state operators. In Illinois, as we know, we are the first and currently only state to go legal via state legislature. Baked into Illinois law is a highly controlled number of licenses, which are awarded on a points system. Currently, there are 21 cultivator licenses awarded in Illinois, with 40 more craft grow licenses scheduled to be announced later this year. <laughs> 